football is being ruined again. And this one has been ongoing since the start of the millennium. What the hell am I on about? Well, do remember to hit the like, the subscribe and the bell button. It does help this channel to grow. And welcome to Up the Cherries in all departments, fans of all football clubs. We are going to be doing a lot more content with regards to the entirety of football, not just my club, AFC Bournemouth. Now, what the hell is the FIFA Club World Championship? Well, as I say, it started at the start of the millennium and it started in Brazil. Now, FIFA decided to create this competition and Manchester United, believe it or not, instead of playing in the FA Cup, if you remember back then, instead of playing in the FA Cup, they decided to go and contend this competition. Now, there was a number of teams across the globe who took part. Um, and those were the likes of Corinthians and Vasco da Gama from Brazil. There was Al Nassar from Saudi Arabia, um, Nicaxa from Mexico, Russia Casablanca from Morocco, Real Madrid, of course, from Spain, and South Melbourne. Uh, no surprise, they were from Australia. So... Manchester United didn't particularly do very well in this competition. Um, and the competition was eventually won by Brazilian club Corinthians beating Vasco da Gama, their countrymen, in the final. Now, was this a resounding success? No, most definitely wasn't. This competition was a little bit of a failure. It was a little bit of a farce. People weren't particularly happy that Manchester United had pulled out of the FA Cup. Now, do remember, not every league in the world has got similar seasons. Some seasons will start at the start of the year. Some seasons will start, you know, in the middle of November. However, it come as a bit, it just come as a bit of a frustration. For English fans. Now, of course, English clubs have been doing a lot, lot better since. And whilst they haven't been pulling out the FA Cup, there has been a case where English clubs like Manchester City and Chelsea in recent times have rested a number of players to actually take a full squad to these FIFA Club World Championships. Now, what is the issue with that? You know, surely it makes it a little bit more competitive. There's a lot of issues with this because from next summer, the competition will be held in the USA and they're looking to extend it to 32 teams. You might still be thinking, well, you know, what is the issue with this? Now, surely a club world championship should be the winner's of each of the areas or the continents competitions. Um, so for example, it makes sense that Manchester United qualified for that competition in the year 2000, because they did win the Champions League in 1999, of course, that comeback against Bayern Munich. However, they're gonna be letting in a lot of teams that haven't done that, maybe one, um, what you could call lesser competitions like the Europa League and the Europa Conference League, maybe. Yeah, it would make it, you know, and open it up for a lot more clubs. But still, there is big concerns why you would do that, considering it is meant to be the best of the best in each of the continents all coming together. You might still be thinking, well, why the hell am I going on about this? Well, Richard Masters has already made a bit of a farce of the Premier League last season by deducting Everton and Nottingham Forest points. And it looks like it's going to happen against Leicester, and potentially Everton again. But FIFA are now getting in on the act. And what are FIFA proposing? They're proposing an 18-team Premier League. They want to impose this across all of the top leagues around the world to accommodate this club world championship. Now, it's going to be played in the summer, this club world championship. And at the end of the day, 
you know, if a team qualifies for that through the league, through the Premier League and plays during the summer, then that's up to them to make those decisions. But in no way should the Premier League be reduced by two clubs. Let's say, for example, Everton and Nottingham Forest to accommodate a competition that, but let's be fair, only one team is likely to be in from England. That team being Manchester City, that team having probably the biggest squad in the country, and that team who should be able to compete in a competition whilst also having players at home. They should be able to fight on all fronts. This is the same problem with the FA Cup replays being scrapped. Because FA Cup replays have been scrapped, you know, Manchester City have got the biggest squad out there. Likewise, you could say the same about Chelsea, about Arsenal, about Liverpool. So why can't, you know, there be FA Cup replays? And why should the Premier League be reduced down to 18 teams? Well, it's not just a concern this time for the Premier League. It's also a concern for La Liga. And La Liga's boss, Javier Tabas, has actually outlined his fears. He said, if we don't take action, the industry is in danger right now. FIFA's solution is just to create new competitions. But for that to happen, and for us to be able to fit these competitions in, we'd have to lose two clubs from La Liga. That would mean we'd have to make 70 players unemployed at those clubs, and it would lose thousands of jobs related to those clubs. We need to fix the current problems before creating new competitions that will destroy the industry, clubs, jobs, the dreams of fans, and football. I'll tell you what, if Javier ever wants to work in England, I tell you what, the Premier League might be the place for him because that's a better statement than Richard Masters has come out in all the time that he's been in charge of the top flight. The less said about him, the better. But we're accommodating this competition for one team competing at a competition in Brazil or the USA or Mexico or wherever. We're accommodating it for probably the biggest team in the country at the moment in terms of wealth, in terms of players. Why should we lose two teams out of that? Richard Masters appears to have been quiet so far about it. But then again, he has really, really, really dropped the ball. The Premier League was a farce last season. Yes, we did well. Bournemouth did well. However, Everton should never have been deducted the points they were, and Forest shouldn't have been deducted the points they were, without Manchester City, the club, who are most likely to be in this competition, being hit with their own punishment. By all means, if you're going to punish Everton, you're going to punish Forest, you have to punish Manchester City. And that will mean Manchester City not competing in this competition. UEFA is going to have to step in and turn around and say, no, clubs that do break the rules can't go to these sort of competitions. But UEFA should be blocking this in the first place. The PFA chief, uh, Maheta Molonga, has revealed Premier League stars have actually told him they were ready to go on strike rather than play against their will in this sort of competition. Um, to be honest, I completely understand it. It is an absolute mess. It's an absolute farce that football is being ruined by men at the top wanting to make more and more money. The World Cup, you know, is every four, four years. The European Championships is every four years. So we have a big competition every two years. That's enough. That's two summers off out of four. And that is fine. That is not a problem. However, if we have this club world championship or league or whatever they're going to do with it, 
it is going to be a farce for football. I can understand why Premier League players wouldn't want to play in this. I can understand why Premier League players would want to boycott and go on strike instead of playing in this competition. I can understand why people and fans of other clubs are so concerned. I'm concerned from a Bournemouth perspective that we could eventually get relegated because of competition that nobody else, not one of the other 17 teams in the league, will get to play in because Manchester City have dominated it. It might be a case that Aston Villa break through or Liverpool come back or Arsenal finally get their return to the top or Spurs and no probably not Spurs but Spurs will just be Spursy won't they forever um and Manchester I don't know what Manchester United and Chelsea are doing let's just forget them but basically what I am saying is one team could potentially be entering this competition And we've got to reduce our National League for that. Our Premier League, the something that we're proud of. Richard Masters, like I say, has already made a farce. And the sooner he goes, the better. Because at the same time, you know, you can't have teams getting points deductions like Leicester and Everton when you have Manchester City getting away scot-free at the top of the football pyramid for year upon year upon year. This is a terrible idea by FIFA. And therefore, I think all teams and all leagues should unite together to get rid of it. No doubt, don't get me wrong, Real Madrid will want it. Barcelona will want it. Will Manchester City want it? They probably won't want to feel the wrath of their fans. So they probably will say that they don't. But deep down, the owners will do. The reason being, it's all about the money. And money is killing sport. Money is killing the Premier League. If there's a club world championship, why shouldn't a team like Bournemouth enter it if we do well enough in our National League? But why should other teams lose their place in the top flight because of cutting down of the league. It's a ridiculous suggestion. It's something that needs to stop. There is problems across the whole of the Football League, across the whole of the EFL at this moment in time. You've got the issues with Morecambe. You've got the issues with Reading that are still ongoing, where people connected with that football club are now gambling you know, even though they're told not to. And the EFL haven't stepped in to remove these people and help that club's fans actually find a resolution. You've got teams like Everton, where there's the takeover that is a complete and utter mess. And Richard Masters, instead of trying to help the Toffees, is trying to punish them all the time. And then you've got Manchester City sat there at the very, very top of football who can do no wrong can do nothing incorrect and will get no punishment at this moment in time they'd rather punish forest they'd rather punish everton who knows they might eventually end up punishing an afc bournemouth and that's what we should all be concerned about there's going to be those fans out there that say well they've done wrong so they should be punished and to an element i can understand why you say that However, there is an element as well that is not the fans' fault. And the Club World Championship would be an unmitigated disaster. It's a competition that I got to be honest, I haven't watched a single game from in my life so far. You know, I only found out about the teams that Manchester United back then actually competed with because I Googled it. I didn't watch it. And from the highlights I've seen, it looked an absolute load of pants. And it can, it continues to be so. UEFA competitions are the strongest globally at the moment, followed by South American competitions. So, again, 
other leagues around the world are being punished for something that they probably can't win, that they can't compete in, that only one team of theirs is going to go to anyway, if it's any at all. It is an absolute farce, and it needs to stop. And if a team qualifies and they do extend it, which fair enough if they want to extend it to 32 clubs and try and make a success of it, and fair play if it is a success, those teams will then have to cope with the situation that they are playing more games during the summer in between seasons. Some clubs will be playing games mid-season. Again, that is a situation they will have to deal with. Manchester City have got one of the biggest squads in the in the country, and therefore they should be able to field multiple different squads and to accommodate the Premier League, whereas also accommodating this Club World Championship if they really want to take part in it. Let me know what you think about the Club World Championship. I've had my say. I think it's a terrible idea. I think FIFA could go to hell with regards to the Club World Championship. It is going to be an unmitigated failure. If it's not, fair enough. But just leave our Premier League and our English pyramid that served us so well alone. <laughs> 